Hi, my name is Helmut Flash, and um, um, recently, actually over a long time, uh, but recently again, um, due to the videos we are shooting here in which people are watching, um, people have asked me, is radio and television advertising a good thing to do? Well, um, all right, here's the answer. That, that, that all depends. Now, assuming and knowing that this is coming from doctors, let's just talk about doctors. I would probably say 99% of the time, absolutely positively no. Why? I don't know, experience, but here's, I tell you why. Okay, if you have one practice and you go on a radio, sh on a, you, you do radio advertising or television advertising, um, the, 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 the amount of people watching, they will tell you there's 100,000, 400,000 people or whatever who watched, well that's nice and dandy. They just don't travel to your place so far. Now, if that same ad goes out for McDonald's or for Supercut, uh, the, the haircutting people, um, they have 20 stores in that same area. So now people can go to every one of those 20 stores, number one, which means they will go there where they won't travel to your place that long. Uh, that's number one. And number two, the cost gets divided into those 20 stores. So they can now do literally 20 times as much advertising, meaning 20 one-minute spots, for instance, instead of one, you know, in relationship, um, pay the same money and yet have people coming uh, to them because the, money, the amount of people they reach, they have stores in every corner, people travel only so far, usually it's three to five miles in a normal populated area, five to seven maybe. So that's the reason why advertising for one single practice most of the time does not work. I've seen here and there exceptions, uh, ethnic. Okay, you um, you have uh, let's say a Chinese or a Iranian or some type of uh, t a television station going on, and it's a relatively heavy populated uh, uh, area for that. You probably will maybe perhaps get something out of it because you have that particular influence. Rather than that, I have not seen working yet. That doesn't mean you cannot show me people where it has worked, of course, I'm very sure. As an average, no, it simply doesn't work for the very reason I have now mentioned. And as you very, very well know, you know, we don't even here believe in advertising despite the fact that we do advertising and that we show people how to advertise and get a good message out. But that is like an extremely small part of what we do because we do un advertising, which is get involved in the community and get press in the community as a community socialist, as a community uh, humanitarian and as an expert and get the community to refer you, basically bring your referral basis, which is very small, patient's referral is very small and make the whole community, four, five, six hundred people in the community who are powerful people, who know many people, make them refer you basically put your message on some existing train where you don't have to pay for it yourself or at least only a fraction than what you would have to pay advertising and more importantly turn the advertising into endorsement that's what we believe in it uh, and that is uh, uh, the answer go for it